Imagine an animal vanishing from the face of the earth, declared extinct, lost forever. But then, years or even centuries later, against all odds, it's found alive. But how did they disappear? How were they found again? And what's being done to protect them now? Let's uncover some of the most astonishing wildlife rediscoveries in history. The quagga was once a common sight in South Africa's grasslands, looking like a zebra in the front and a horse in the back. But by the late 1800s, it was wiped out due to hunting and habitat destruction, with the last known quagga dying in captivity in 1883. Scientists analyzing quagga DNA found it was a subspecies of the plains zebra, not a separate species. This meant its genetic traits still existed. In the 1987, the Quagga project began selectively breeding zebras with Quagga-like features. Over time, they produced animals resembling the original Quagga. Though not identical, these selectively bred Rao Quaggas now roam South Africa, resembling their extinct ancestors. The California condor is North America's largest flying bird, with a wingspan of nearly 10 feet. By 1982, only 22 California condors remained due to poaching, habitat loss, and lead poisoning from ingesting bullet fragments while scavenging carcasses. In a last-ditch effort to save them, conservationists captured remaining wild individuals and started an intensive captive breeding program. It was a risky move. Some feared condors might never survive in the wild again. But the program worked. Today, thanks to careful breeding and reintroduction efforts, there are now over 500 California condors, with more than 300 living in the wild. Though still critically endangered, this is one of the greatest conservation success stories of all time. Coelacanth was believed to have gone extinct 66 million years ago, at the same time as the dinosaurs. Scientists knew about it only from fossils, until one turned up alive in a fisherman's net in 1938. Marine biologist Marjorie Courtenay Latimer was the first to examine this strange fish in South Africa and realized it was something special, a living fossil from an era long past. Coelocanths have lobed fins that resemble primitive legs, hinting at the evolutionary link between sea creatures and land animals. Then again, in the 1997, another population of coelocanths was discovered near Indonesia. They live in deep underwater caves, far from human reach, which explains how they stayed hidden for so long. Coelocanths are extremely rare and their deep-sea habitat is threatened by climate change and accidental fishing. This giant insect, often called the tree lobster, was believed to be extinct after black rats invaded Lord Howe Island in the 1920s, following a shipwreck near the island. These rats wiped out entire populations of native species, including this stick insect. But in 2001, a small team of researchers scaled Ball's Pyramid, a remote rocky island near Lord Howe, and discovered 24 living individuals hiding under a single bush. Since 2003, a captive breeding program in Australia has helped restore the population. Today, thousands of these insects exist, and scientists are working on reintroducing them to their original island home. Ensuring their survival on Lord Howe Island means eradicating invasive species first. The project is ongoing and their future looks promising. New Zealand's Takahe is a large flightless bird that was once thought to be extinct. By the late 1800s, no one had seen one in years, and it was assumed they had all been wiped out by hunting and habitat destruction. But in 1948, explorer Jeffrey Orbell made an astonishing discovery. Deep in the remote Murchison Mountains, he found a small surviving population of Takahe. Since then, captive breeding and predator control programs have boosted their numbers to over 500 birds today. 
Their biggest threats remain invasive predators like stoats, which prey on eggs and chicks. Conservationists continue to work on keeping these predators out of Takahe habitats. The Chakuan peccary, a pig-like mammal, was once known only from fossils, leading scientists to believe it had gone extinct long before humans ever encountered it. But in 1971, researchers discovered that the species was still alive in the remote Gran Chaco region of South America, where indigenous communities had long known it as the Tagua. Today, it faces threats from deforestation and habitat loss due to cattle ranching and human expansion. Conservation programs such as captive breeding and habitat protection aim to ensure its survival. However, with fewer than 3,000 individuals left in the wild, the Chacon peccary remains one of the rarest mammals on Earth. The bald eagle is one of the most famous comeback stories in American conservation history. Once a powerful national symbol, the species nearly disappeared in the mid-20th century due to habitat loss, illegal hunting, and most notably, DDT pesticide poisoning. DDT, a chemical widely used after World War II, weakened the bird's eggshells, causing them to break before hatching. By the 1960s, bald eagle numbers had dropped to fewer than 450 breeding pairs in the U.S. In 1972, the U.S. banned DDT, and conservationists launched aggressive captive breeding and protection programs. Eagles were bred in captivity and released into the wild, while habitat protections ensured their nesting sites remained undisturbed. By 2007, the bald eagle was officially removed from the U.S. endangered species list. Today, their population has rebounded to over 300,000 individuals across North America. Lead poisoning and habitat destruction still pose threats, but bald eagles remain one of the greatest conservation success stories. For over 50 years, the Victorian grassland earless dragon was a ghost of Australian wildlife. The grassy plains were transformed into farmland and housing developments, leaving little space for the species to survive. Scientists hadn't seen one since 1969, and with no confirmed sightings for decades, it was assumed to be functionally extinct. But in 2023, a small population was rediscovered in Victoria, Australia. This tiny, earless dragon, only about 15 centimeter long, had somehow survived. Now that the Victorian grassland earless dragon has been found again, conservationists are racing to protect its habitat. Breeding programs are being considered to help increase population numbers before it's too late. The biggest challenge is protecting what little habitat remains. Without urgent conservation action, the species could disappear again this time for good. The Fernandina giant tortoise, one of the world's most elusive animals, was last recorded in 1906 on Fernandina Island in the Galapagos and was thought extinct for over a century. In 2019, researchers from Galapagos National Park and the Giant Tortoise Restoration Initiative made a stunning discovery. A lone female, Fernanda, surviving in the island's rugged volcanic terrain. Scientists believe more tortoises may still exist and are actively searching for a mate to start a breeding program. If successful, this could be one of conservation's greatest comebacks. And if no more individuals are found, cloning or genetic technology may be the only hope for reviving the species. And that wraps up our journey through the incredible stories of animals that came back from extinction. Which rediscovery amazed you the most? Let us know in the comments. If you're curious about the biggest monkeys on the planet, check out our video on the top seven largest monkeys in the world. Click on the screen now and explore the primates that rule the treetops. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating wildlife stories.